going to look at the three laws of logs and then uh, we're going to prove one of them. So log base A of X plus log base A of Y is equal to log base A of X and Y. I encourage you to try to show this result using the definition of logs. Uh, this is an A. Note the base has to be the same. Then a similar result is log base A of X y to log base a of x over y. Final result, and the one we're going to show is true, is k log ax. And k is a is some constant. Uh, should put triple signs on here because they're identical, so for all x and y uh, is equal to log a of x. I'm going to show this statement. So we know that log a of x equals some number c. Okay. And we also know that a plus c is equal to x. If we raise both sides of this equation by k, then it still it still holds true. Sorry. Um, so a plus ck is identical to x to the k. And then Taking logs on both sides here gives log base A, and um, we're going to switch the sides over. So, log base X to the K, so that's taking log base right hand side. That's identical to well, log base A of A to the CK is the power we have to raise A to the CK to get A to the CK. So, that's just CK. But we know that C is equal to log base A of X, so this is equal to K uh, log base A of X, okay? We can use a similar sort of argument to this to prove these two results. Um, if you want to email me your solutions or whatever, if you do decide to do it, I can check that for you, or if you're just happy you got it right yourself, but it's an important exercise to try uh, to do, just to get used to working algorithms. Well, that's it for this video. If you've got any questions, let me know down in the comments section below. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.